video and welcome to the Green Women Tarot. This is your reading for the 1st to the 15th of March 2020. And it's a general reading, just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time. To see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle. This is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle that I'm using today. And I'll draw a couple of cards from this just to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious oracle has for Scorpio for the 1st to the 15th of March 2021. What messages are here for Scorpio for the first half of March this year? What does Scorpio need to know at this time? So let's fan that out. I will take that where it fell apart. And I think that one. So let's see what you get. You have new beginnings. Oh, that's nice. So there's wonderful new beginnings, new potentials, um, something that perhaps could bring you great joy. But there's new beginnings and a time of gentleness. Things ease up, troubles um, perhaps retreat or we disappear altogether. There's a new sense of peace and gentleness. And perhaps it sort of suggests that you may need to be gentle as well with um, those around you, with your, you know, handling situations in a gentle way, softly, softly approach. It's a beautiful card. So you've got new beginnings and gentleness. So that's, that's lovely. But let's see where the rest of the reading takes us. I'll just move that out the way a bit. So let's see what's on the cards for Scorpio for the 1st to the 15th of March, 2021. What messages are here for Scorpio? For the first half of March this year. What does Scorpio need to know? So this is the Dark Mansion Tarot, and I'll be using it to do an eight-card spread for you with the first two cards depicting you where you are now in your current situation. And then the second two cards will highlight the challenges that you face at this time. The following two cards will offer some guidance from Spirit. Oops. And then the last two cards may reveal your possible outcome to this period. So let's see what you get. Eight of Cups, moving away from something towards something better. And you've got the Four of Swords. Um... Your challenges are the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So both about stability there. And then you've got the Two of Cups. And the Six of Wands. Oh, that's very romantic. <laughs> As your guidance cards. And then you've got the Queen of Cups and the Lovers. Oh, Scorpio. This is looking very... Um, very relationship orientated, actually. And then the bottom of the deck, you've got the Two of Swords. So perhaps you're in a position now, or you're coming through a time where you've been at an impasse. Um, you've not seen a way out of something. You felt like you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. You've had a bit of um, 
difficulty in making a decision. You need to tap into your intuition. Your, um, you know, this blindfold here on the character shows that you, all the facts are not known to you. So you need to move with intuitiveness. But the important thing is to actually make that decision and so that you can move forward because the longer you stand at this crossroads, at this impasse, the, the longer you, you make no progress, the longer you, you know, nothing happens. So there's an important decision without all the facts fully known to you and you need to tap into your intuition. And, you know, you've got here in your beginning... Um, Maybe linked to this indecision or this impasse is the sense that something is not fulfilling for you. Um, something has been lacking for some time and there's this decision um, to move forward, to abandon what has disappointed you, what has not fulfilled you uh, in pursuit of something that is more fulfilling something that is um, more to your calling. So it's leaving something behind in order to find something better, something more fitting. Um, now, you know, I get the sense from this that that's, you've had, it's, exha it's exhausted you and there's, there's a, this is a time now to, to retreat, to rest. And if you look at this figure, she's also retreating. This is about um, stepping back so that you can see things in a new perspective and um, thereby find your answers um, and know which way you want to be going in. I also get a sense from here in that for many of you in this decision to, to move away, to walk away from something, it's ended the strife, it's ended the fighting and it's brought about this, this time for rest, this new beginning and a sense of gentleness after trouble and um, anxiety and over decision making and um, knowing which path you want to follow. And your challenges at this time as you move forward is that you worry about resources. Um, it's sort of finding the right, um, finding enough resources and, and, and having enough. Um, this also speaks a bit of, of charity, of dealing things out in an even and fair way. And that's important in this um, weeks, in these weeks ahead, a sense of fairness and um, generosity of spirit. And as you move in a way, you may be pulled back towards old times, towards when things did feel fulfilling and were good for you. So that's going to be a challenge because the, what you're wanting to do is move forward to something more fulfilling, but you'll be, you know, you may be challenged in reminiscence and, um, and you know, um, thinking back on, on the past and wondering whether this act of moving on is, is the right thing to do. So there are your challenges, having enough and being fair in, in if you in a position where you need to be dividing things up. Um, it sort of calls to fairness and um, kindness, but and also on on the other side of you, you know, you've got two different aspects that are um, challenging to you. On the other side is 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 the sense of um, nostalgia that may um, hinder you moving forward towards something better, missing those good old times. But your guidance from spirit here is um, there is going to, you know, this suggests a bond, a connection. Um, you know, there's, there is certainly from this point onwards, it becomes very romantic. It sort of suggests here um, a union of opposites. Now, this could be a business deal. It could be a contract a contract in, in work relay things but you know this reading very emotionally now because these are all cups and um, unity so it looks like uh, you know finding someone wonderful you you know as you move on you may feel a pull to and, and, and sort of regret feel some regret at leaving um, behind something that once was um, good for you once felt 
you know, happy and innocent, but you'll find something better. You'll find this connection that you may be looking for. And this sort of indicates uh, the coming together of opposites and um, a, a union between, perhaps if it's two people for some of you that it resonates that way, this is sort of suggests um, it, it has a potential to become deep and meaningful. But at this point, it's simply a, um, a, a connection, a bond that is forming. And, um, you know, it's, it bodes success. You know, it, it looks like it could be very successful. Most six of ones um, in, in other decks sort of so show someone that has um, is riding back from a quest and, and he's been successful and he's acclaimed. In this particular one, the success is in the union um, and it's, it's, it's clearly a, a marriage celebration. So this sort of suggests that this connection this bond, this union will be successful and it will be celebrated and welcomed by those around you in your caress, your tribe, your, your kin. So it's wonderful, sort of, you may be feeling that tug and that worry that you've, you'll never find that togetherness again, but the cards suggest that, um, or sort of, that you will find it. Um, your guidance cards give you the um, assurance that you, you'll find that connection and it will be successful. And it will lead you to um, a, a deepening emotional connection. The, the Queen of all Cups is the, the most intuitive of all the queens. She is um, on, you know, she has mastered her emotions. So this sort of suggests the, the initial connection will mature in a loving way, in a compassionate and giving way. So that's lovely. Um, and then it shows here the lovers, you know, this this um, depicts um, a connection that is now a strong bond. And this is a choice, um, you know, having a, cho a choice to commit. So you've got three cards here that sort of clearly indicate um, a, a choice, a commitment, um, celebrating a union. And this may be where your new beginning is, starting a new union, starting a new connection with someone and celebrating. And it sort of suggests that it, it, this is something that can grow and um, become stable, secure, and um, give you that sense of um, belonging and, and commitment and and security that you you may be yearning for and you know you've got this gentleness even this card is about gentleness but if you look carefully the figure is a bride so i don't know for some of you this may resonate in a very personal way but i get a sense here that um it's you know you, you may have difficulty leaving something behind it may involve divvying things up but it certainly involves worrying about resources um, it's hard to let go because of nostalgia, but you find a new bond and it's successful. It's, it's welcomed. Um, it matures and it grows, develops, and it's, it's something that is gentle and loving and full of compassion and empathy. And, you know, it leads to a choice to commit. And there's your new beginning. So there you have it, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. And then enjoy the next two weeks. And God bless you till we meet again. Bye.